a strong in framework. Remember that we only have one shot in making like creating this social health care, which is why we would argue we still need the best policies. But even if we go in the framework, we can still prove that Medicare for all isn't the best solution. Remember, the easiest place to vote for us first is on doctor shortages. Throughout the entire round, we tell you that private insurers pay 200% more to doctors than government like Medicare does, which is really important because FTI 20 finds that 40,000 doctors will be lost if you take the app today, which is really important. They dropped this throughout the entire round, and like this is really important because we prereq every single one of their arguments because without doctors, like none of their benefits will be true because like no doctors, no access, and like no drugs. But then, even if... The easiest way to vote for us today is also on innovation, right? Remember what me and Mimi tell you. The Mazi 16 finds that $2.9 billion is required for a company to create like one single drug. And with Medicare for all bringing prices down by 70%, overall you're gonna see 60% less farm projects from like medical startups. And ultimately this has fueled 73% of life expectancy. And AMR, if we don't find a drug, we'll claim 10 million lives today. But then, the really important thing, right? They have two key responses. The first is BVP. But remember what we tell you, we need $2.9 billion to create one new drug, which shows it's a heavy risk and reward nature. But then they drop the response where we tell you that if the government is the one that is judging these drug companies, no one is gonna be innovating because you already need to spend that $2.9 billion and for government who like literally does not know a thing about pharmaceuticals to tell you whether your drug is good or not, it's way too risky, no one's gonna take it. But then their other response is about like me too drug, right? But remember, this does not matter because throughout the entire me and Amy tells you, as long as we find that 0.1% that could like solve AMR and save 10 million lives by 2050, we will win today's round. And like, they never respond to that as well. But then overall, you're gonna be voting for me and Amy today because of our impact, right? Remember, a day in 20 tells you that AMR will claim 10 million lives by 2050. The only impact they talk about in like their round is like this magical thing where like the economy is gonna collapse. Well, first of all, we argue life is more important because remember what Emin tells you in summary, like overall, you can literally save a country's economy by going back up, but you can't make 10 million people back up and like make them alive again. That's just not how it works. Uh, okay, thanks.